Okay, as you can see now, we're, we brought that back leg down. We really have. It's a uh, good job. We brought that back leg down, and that's what we want to do. Okay, see that? See how that looks? Now, we're going to do the same thing with this front leg because this leg and this leg are going to be over on this side of the dog. So what we're going to do, we're going to start removing this front leg also. Just take your time. Don't get in a hurry. I know I've, a lot of people have, have written me and said, man, you sure do that fast. Well, fast is not what we're, we're concerned with. A lot of times I've told them we, we might do this a little bit faster. I'll do it a little bit faster because I'm working uh, on timetable with these videos. And, uh, but because when you start getting into these areas in here, you want to be careful. You want to uh, take your time. You don't want to uh, get in too much of a hurry. So what I do, you know, and I've been carving for a long time too. I, I pretty much understand the grain of the wood, as this, most carvers will. that has been carving a long time. But as you see, I'm doing the same thing over here. I'm removing this wood to try to bring this front leg back. And just in a very slow way, not a tough way, not something that takes a long time, you just slowly, slowly take that wood out of the front leg there. Because when you get out of here and into the feet a little bit, you want to be careful. Taking this wood away, in other words. So just take your time. This is, doesn't, uh, this, uh, you know, for me, I try to, to, to go a little bit faster maybe because I'm, I'm, I'm limited on uh, the amount of time. Of course, this, this project's going to take a little while. It's going to be in some parts. But uh, still, you don't have to do that. You just take your time. Get one leg cut off and sit back, relax, drink you some tea or do something like that and then work on another one later or whatever. You know, you're not on a limited timetable, so you don't have to worry about it. But as you see, same thing is happening here. See? I'm removing that wood off the front of that leg. There we go. See, and, and the reason I don't, I'm not going to remove a whole lot, just about this much on each side, as you can see, is because I'm then going to start, uh, you know, you don't want to remove too much, about halfway, somewhere around there. Now, once again, these two legs here are going to fit to the front. So what do we have to do? We're going to remove these parts of these two legs as these two will fit toward the front. And once again, be very careful. Take your time. And don't get in a hurry. See like that? Now the, you know when you get to the when you get to the inside of these, you have to be kind of careful. You don't want to. Uh... In fact, I'm going to kind of use the push motion here, as you can see. And I'm just taking my time, taking that off of there. I'm not going to get in a hurry. Sometimes you have to turn. You're gonna to have to turn it uh, different ways to get your cuts in to to work with it. But like I said, you can do it. You can 
do it come from the top you want to a little bit like that. I've always had better success from coming to the sides like this, in other words, and kind of taking that wood off there. So, I take this, kind of cut that wood away from there. Go. Now we're getting some, especially this back leg. Sometimes it's easier to just go ahead and remove some wood from this part, and this part's much easier to um, to get in and, and, and work with. Now, a lot of people will use a, uh, when it comes to something like that, they'll use a gouge or they'll use, but what we're just going to use the knife. Go. Don't worry about necessarily the cleanliness. We'll, we'll clean it up later, in other words. 